Hi guys, just going to disassemble my daughter's old dishwasher. In no way is this disassembling it for repair or servicing, this is just so I can take it apart and scavenge bits out of it. Summary time. Sorry if the camera's a bit jerky, I'm going to have to do this handheld. Start off at this end. Okay. Got some plastic tubing that might be useful for something. Got several bits of rubber tubing that again might be useful for something. Got the wiring loom which will be handy for bits of wire and various connectors. Got the power lead, always handy. Okay, moving round a bit. Got various screws, so they'll just go into my box. This bit here, uh, I'm not sure what you'd actually call it. I shall take it apart a little bit more, I have to split it open, because just there is actually a little reed relay. So I guess there's a sort of a wheel or a flow meter or something there. So there must be a little magnet in there to actually affect the reed relay. So that's probably worth taking apart to get the bits out of. And we got the main electric motor. Looks a little bit corroded around the bottom, but it feels fine. So that might be useful for something at some time. It says 240 volts, 75 watts, 
four microfarads. Don't know what that's about. Although it did have that four microfarad rather large capacitor attached to it, which I've shorted out to make sure it's uh, safe. Next, we've got this heater. Now, I can't actually imagine me using that for anything, but handy to know it's there. And then that's the pump that was attached to the front of the motor. And it's got a solenoid, solenoid attached to it, which might be handy for something. I've got several solenoids. come from various other parts of the dishwasher. I've tried a couple of them and I'm guessing they're actually um, 240 volt AC operation because I've tried them with ordinary DC and I can't get them to do anything. So a bit of a shame but I expect they've still got a coil in them that I can make use of for something. This bit here which Let's the dishwasher tablet free. Had one of those solenoids attached to it, and it also had another little reed relay in it, which I've just taken out of there. So there must be a magnet attached to that bit. So that'll be worth taking out as well. Not quite sure what this bit is. It had a fairly small tube attached to it, so I'm guessing it's some sort of pressure sensor. I don't suppose it actually says what it is written on the outside. Nah. Looks like it's got an adjustable pot on it. Anyway, so that's another bit. This is just an ordinary... Um, switch, same as one of these, but it appears to be controlled by pressure again. So that's an air pressure thing goes in there, or water pressure. So either way, you've either got a switch or you've got some sort of pressure switch that might be interesting to play with. Say so another one of those switches, another one. This is another pump of some sort. So I'm guessing it's uh, there we are, 240 volts, 26 watts. So that'll be another electric motor of some sort. With some nice coils in it, I can see through the plastic casing. Right, up to this end. These are the rollers that the trays inside the dishwasher rolled in and out on, but they might make useful wheels or even useful pulleys. So they're worth saving. A couple of big springs, they're probably a bit too powerful for anything that I want to use. Uh, that's the power in. So we've got some nice big capacitors on there, and a resistor, that's the LED or display from the front of the dishwasher, got some momentary push switches on it, uh, I guess that's a piazzo, uh, what else we got, that's the main control panel. It's got a relay on it, a uh, nice row of res uh, transistors there, power transistor, regulator, <laughs> words I'm trying to think of, a uh, little transformer there, a few capacitors, a few diodes, a few resistors, so there might be some bits salvageable off there, another bit of wire, <laughs> and some toys that were inside magnets. So I think that's about it. So that was a fairly successful bit of scavenging. A bit disappointing that those solenoids appear to be 
AC operated rather than DC. So I've tried them with a 9 volt battery, I've tried them with a 24 volt supply and that's not operating them, so I'm guessing it's AC. But we'll see, sometime. So there we go, job done. That's the innards out of my daughter's dishwasher.